Streaming to multiple websites should be free and easy. Luckily it is, and as long as you follow me in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So come along as I teach you the way of multi-streaming. So once you have your broadcast software set up like I do, where you have a gaming scene, just chatting, and also a desktop scene, what we're gonna do is go to the top left-hand corner where it says file, and then we're gonna go down to preferences, and this is gonna be where it shows the stream settings and we can add our multiple outputs. So first you wanna click on add output, and then you wanna to go to Twitch, and this is gonna be where you can actually log into Twitch or you can just put in your stream key and your stream server. You can also find the most available server to you with this link right here. Okay, so once we have all of our Twitch information loaded up or we're logged in, go ahead and click back and then we're gonna to go to add output and then choose custom destination. You will have to do this actually for Twitter, YouTube, and also Kick, as there is no login option currently. So all you have to do is just name this to whatever you want. So we'll just call it YouTube. And then you just wanna find your stream server and your stream key as well. And if you don't know how to get your stream key or stream server for any of those platforms, we actually made a short on how to do it listed in the description down below. Now, once we have our information for YouTube plugged in, we're just going to go back and repeat this process for Kick and also for Twitter. Once you have all your websites added, it should look something like this. So we have Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and Twitter listed. Now, one thing I do want to mention before going forward is that with the encoder settings, these are going to be the exact same for every single platform. So just make sure based on your internet and your PC's performance, you can handle this. If you can't, then feel free to play around with the frames or even the canvas size and also the video bitrate to make sure it works for you. Keep in mind that in a future update, there will be the ability to adjust each individual setting for each individual platform. Once we're done with this, go ahead and click out of this menu. And now on the top right hand corner, we notice that during outputs, it actually says Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and Twitter. So now what's really cool about this is you actually have toggle switches. So for instance, if I don't feel like streaming on Twitter for some reason, or if maybe I want to play some, you know, DMCA music, which you totally don't do because that's against the rules. So you don't do that. <laughs> then you go ahead and just toggle off YouTube. And now your stream will not go to YouTube or to Twitter. It will still go to kick and Twitch. That's the whole tutorial. That is how you multi-stream with Meld Studio. If you guys don't have access to Meld Studio's Windows beta, make sure you guys go check out the link in the description down below. Or if you guys are a Mac user, you actually have a full version of Meld you can download. Again, link down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more updates.